Hello, hello. Hello. Um, Tom, what made you want to do this particular movie? Well, I, I try to make movies that no one has ever seen before. And no one had ever seen this story. The, the, the book uh, written by George Kriles this is a pretty dense piece of journalism. It's, uh, it's a serious read. And yet the, the subject matter is so fantastic that, it, first of all, that a guy like Charlie even existed. Tall, drinking, womanizing. And he comes from probably one of the most uh, conservative districts in Texas. And yet he'd been elected over and over and over again. And then because he was able to, uh, was able to foment this brand of, uh, this brand of uh, uh, political... Uh, political action that's almost impossible to fathom and yet it, it actually happened that to me is is just i'm always saying more interesting just as interesting as anything that you could make up definitely of course the film has been recognized been nominated for a couple of golden globes that ceremony is now not happening how do you feel about that what's your, what's your take well on i think you know the golden globes is a really fun party <laughs> you know they throw a good one they are uh, the, the meal's free, and there's a bottle of champagne everywhere. I'm not a big drinker, but nonetheless, a couple of sips will loosen me up just enough. Uh, I think you it, been boycotting it, though, with the writer's stripes? Going oh, yeah, I would have. I, I wouldn't have crossed the line. There's a, I, I'm a member of the Writer's Guild, the Screen Actors Guild, and the Director's Guild, and the industry is at, a, is at, a, at some sort of uh, uh, a, a crossroads, and uh, everybody... All of the guilds have to be on the same page somehow, but also I think the big corporate guys that own the media companies, I don't see it so much as being a strike against uh, the individual producers who make films. This is about the big, massive media companies worldwide that run things, probably even your bosses, I'm going to, I will probably say. So, yeah, they're, they're, I, I would not have crossed even if they had put it on TV. Do you think it can be sourced in time for the Oscars? I think it can be, yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful all the way around. And a message for Aston Villa ahead of their game against Reading? I, 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 listen, I think uh, the smart money will be on the Aston Villa. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much.